Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, allow me to introduce Mary Nicholson, our Vice President of Institutional Advancement and Executive Director of the TVCC Foundation for a special announcement. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Last fall, when Trinity Valley lost these two very special members of our TVCC family, there were a lot of ideas discussed on how we could honor their legacy. One of those that we talked about was the creation of an endowed scholarship. Since that time, very quietly and behind the scenes, Mr. John Warren has been working with the community to get this established. Soon after, Steve Grant, who is the chair of my foundation, also became involved. And with much love and a few initial donations, today we publicly announce the Kurt Budke and Miranda Cerna Lady Cardinal Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship once funded will remain in perpetuity and there will be Lady Cardinal students who will have scholarships for years and years to come. Kurt's wife Shelley is watching today as well as Miranda's mother Nettie and they were instrumental in creating the requirements for this scholarship. They were character, determination, attitude, and of course, a financial need. But one of the other things that they both required is that this scholarship would not just go to the most stellar athlete. This scholarship would be made available to a trainer or an equipment manager a student involved in the program because as Kurt and Miranda felt, every student was important and nobody was more important than another. <laughs> to fully endow this scholarship with our foundation requires a minimum of $25,000. And we are well on our way because in part with some matching donations that have been promised up to 12,500. So today I ask you to please, first and foremost, remember Kurt and Miranda and their families in your prayers. And to stop by the table in the lobby and leave a donation, remembering that every dollar is matched. And now at this time, I would like to invite Coach Michael Landers to come up and say a few words about Kurt and Miranda and what this scholarship means to the program. Coach Landers. Thank you. Uh, there are uh, several of you in the building today that probably knew Coach and Miranda better than I. Uh, however, I was blessed to have the opportunity uh, to meet Coach Budke in May of 2000. Uh, within the first two days that I took this job to replace him, he called and wanted to meet me for lunch. And he was on his way to Ruston, so he drove through Marshall, where I was living at the time, and we sat down and, and had a long lunch. And I realized then, uh, it, almost immediately in the course of our conversation, why he wanted to have lunch with me. It, it wasn't to talk about players. It wasn't to talk about strategy. He wanted to make sure that I understood how much this program meant and how special the Lady Cardinals were. And he wanted to make sure that if I was going to take on this task, that I would try to continue the family atmosphere and, and the values that were established in this program. It was about three months later that Miranda came for her first visit. She was uh, coaching in Fresno State at the time. You could tell from the moment that you first talking to her, started talking to her how much passion and love she had for the Lady Cards and for Trinity Valley. I've been here 12 years now in this program. You can't go anywhere in our office, in our locker room. You can't walk into the gym and not see the impact that Coach Budke has had and that Miranda's had. Uh, there are daily reminders everywhere and banners and trophies, uh, records and all those good things. The thing that you don't necessarily see on the walls are what I think are the most important contributions they, are, they have made. Names like Shalonda Ennis and Betty Lennox and Jennifer Spasado, Tasha Bronner, 
Tasha Mills, Kenya Larkin. These are young ladies that came into this program needing some help, needing some direction, needing some discipline, needing some guidance. And that's what Coach Budke did within his program and with his players. I, to me, it was no more evident than the last uh, two times that he's been down for the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. When he was inducted in 2008, he had so many players come in, former players come in to watch his induction. And then two years, or last, excuse me, this past October, when Jennifer was, Jennifer Spazzato was inducted, he came down because he wanted to be a part of her induction ceremony. And that showed his love for her, but you could see some of the former players that came back and the smiles that they had on their face when they saw him and the way that they lit up when he was back around. You could tell the impact that he had on their lives and what a difference he made. Both he and Miranda believed in those same values, God first, family, school, then basketball. They lived their lives that way. I would encourage each one of you to help in any way that you can with a donation, with a pledge, and allow Coach and Miranda to do what they've always done through this scholarship, which is a way to make a difference in young people's lives. Thank you very much. That's going to conclude the ceremony announcing the scholarship in memory and in honor of Kurt Budke and Miranda Cerna. You heard uh, Mary Nicholson and Michael Lander speak and, about the scholarship, and it's just another way that the legacy of Kurt Budke and Miranda Cerna will live on here at Trinity Valley. I think the uh, three factors that are going to be taken into account with the scholarship, character, determination, and attitude, tell you everything you need to know about Kurt and Miranda. Absolutely, and Mary was so right in saying Good how job. much. Uh, 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 those two people, from what I've heard, just tremendous individuals. What a uh, great asset they were to Trinity Valley.